So hey there everybody, as always, welcome to the channel and welcome to the studio. My name is Rich, I'm the channel host, and normally here we're talking about drone business building, imaging, video, doing drone mapping for 2D and 3D models. You get the idea, lots of drone stuff, lots of imaging stuff. A few weeks ago, I had actually, it's been a couple months now, a couple months ago, I did a video on utilizing QGIS for some of my flight planning for my drone services that I offer. QGIS is an open source GIS system. And for those of you who are also familiar with something like ArcGIS, it's, it's along the same lines, except this is open source and free. Now I put together like a 24 minute long video showing through the highlights of what I'm using QGIS for. But I got asked the question on my Patreon group recently, hey, I'm having a hard time loading additional maps to QGIS, because QGIS can have Google Maps, ESRI, they, they've got a whole selection of different maps that can be loaded to QGIS. Now, the name of the tool is Quick Map Services, but I forgot one small part for Quick Map Services so that people could get maps loaded up really fast, really easy. So from my Patreon group to the YouTube channel just the other day, I got an inquiry about, hey, how do you get the base maps into QGIS? So we're gonna switch over to the computer right here, and we're gonna show you how you can get your base maps for quick map services for use in QGIS so that you too can do your own flight planning in QGIS, or you can actually also display two-dimensional ortho mosaics after you've captured your data and overlay those onto one of the map services that you choose to. So let's go ahead and leave the uh, M50 here and we're gonna jump over onto screen and we're gonna do the screen recording and walk you through it. Really simple, really easy thing to do. All right, everybody. So from the Canon M50 over onto the Mac Studio here. And we're using a Logitech Brio for the uh, webcam, by the way. We've had some problems with the Logitech Brio recently when it comes to the uh, the Mac Studio. So we think we've gotten all that worked out and uh, we're not doing audio from this anyhow. All right, so like I said, two months ago, we did a video on QGIS and I'm pulling QGIS up right now. So I thought I'd covered everything, but um, one of my folks in the Patreon group pointed out to me, hey, that wasn't, uh, we didn't have how we get the base maps in here. And, um, then I also got another person on uh, YouTube. So between those two, yeah, let's make a quick little video here. So number one, there's a lot of plugins for QGIS. And if you look up on the top bar of QGIS, you will see plugins, vector, raster, database, web mesh. There's, there's a lot of tools here. Um, but we can also add additional plugin tools. So I'm just going over to manage the plugins. I'm just dragging this here so that you can take a look. So right now we got a list of what I've got installed. So uh, geocoding here, the grass uh, GIS provider, Latin long tools, meta search catalog client. What we're looking at and what we're looking for is quick map services. So when you first install QGIS, you do not have quick map services installed. And what that means is um, you don't have a bunch of base maps to pick from. So I'm gonna close this really quick because we did install this and after installing it, we do have to do a couple things. And on the last video about QGIS, the one thing that I forgot to show you. So when I look over here, now that I've got QGIS uh, uh, Quick Map Services installed, we have uh, Quick Map Services, we have Search Quick Map Services, we have a meta search for Quick Map Services. What we're gonna do is click on the first one, the globe with the plus symbol, there we go. And what we can see here is that, yeah, I've, I've added a bunch of base maps. Um, 2GIS map, Auto Navi, Bing, ESRI with a bunch of different types. Um, then we've also got Google as well. And further on down also OpenStreetMaps. So where do we get all these? Uh, one of my students uh, who had gotten in touch with me about this before was doing them one at a time, finding one of the base maps that they wanted and then adding them in. Well, under quick map services, if you go down to settings, so it's all about settings here, and this will pull up a new pop-up window, general, tiles, edit, uh, add, edit, remove, visibility, 
and more services. So this is the part I skipped in that last video, sorry. But under more services, you can get a contributed pack of base maps. So that's what I had done. I actually came in here, I hit get, get contributed pack, and that is what added all of those base maps for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel because I don't need to do that right now. But let's, um, let's take a look at this double A ranch project that we had to drive out to recently up in the Ash Fork area. So I was using this for doing some of my planning. Now, what you'll notice over on the left-hand side under my layers, uh, let's just zoom over here. So we have the address, the 4272 North Double A Ranch that we had to go out and fly and shoot. Uh, under that, a second version. So the top version was a polygon that I made in order to export to a KML file so that I could put the KML file into Litchi. Um, below this, though, here it is, ESRI Topo and ESRI uh, Terrain. So what we're looking at, let's zoom this back out. Uh, we see the road right here and the West Buck Drive. This is being shown from the ESRI Topo. Now, if I turn that off, now we've got no map data for the terrain either at the moment. But just to show you, you know, what else, what can we do with this here? Well, I'm going to go back over and let's jump down to Google. And let's grab a Google hybrid map. Since we turned off the other two layers, now on the Google hybrid map, you can see there's the Double A Ranch Road and the West Buck Drive and a neighboring property as well. And if we zoom this out further, we are looking at the Google hybrid map. So isn't that awesome? And that's all added under our quick map services. So let's go back to Google and, you know, let's do a, hmm, should we do a Google terrain you know, or Google roads, Google labels? Let's, uh, let's try that terrain really quick. And now we need to go back over into our layers area. So there's our Google's hybrid and there's the terrain. So what I'm going to do is turn terrain off. Uh, I'm sorry, turn the hybrid off and now it's just Google terrain. And if we zoom this out, we can actually see all the road areas in here and what was close by to us. So there you go. The big thing here is just going in after you've installed quick map services, going down to settings and under settings, selecting more services and you're gonna get that contributed pack. So it's that simple for you. So it's totally sorry that I left that out on the last one. Uh, we will be doing a longer video on utilizing QGIS for our drone operations. And that can be found over at classes.azdrone.net. It's not up yet, but I would suggest if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe down below. And when we announce the new QGIS course, we'll be letting you know here on YouTube. And of course, we'll, we always give discounts to uh, our regular followers here on YouTube. So keep your eyes out. You'll see a nice coupon code and you too can get started with utilizing QGIS for your drone operations on a daily basis. See you all again real soon.